Hey guys, Random DJ here. I uh, just wanted to say I'm really sorry and I really do apologize for not posting any videos like I'm supposed to. Uh, I've been really busy with both my jobs and going to school full time. And it gets, if you work or if you go to school, you understand what I mean. Uh, so right now I'm at the shop. Uh, I took, since everyone else is in Austin, or, you know, taking their little, taking their uh, family reunion road trip. So I'm over here. It's kind of good. I get to relax a little bit. I think this is like the first week in maybe a month or two that since I haven't had any homework or really any assignments. So I'm probably just going to study right now for a bit. Uh, uh, just to recap on some stuff, we are still going to follow through with the spicy noodle challenge. Let me put this here. All right, so we're going to follow through with the spicy noodle challenge. It's just, besides me getting busy, my friends are getting busy too, so we have to work at a schedule. And uh, another thing, yeah, yesterday was my birthday, so I'm officially 20 years old. So I still feel, well, actually, I feel 23 or 24 because everyone's been calling me like 25 or 26. But I've been, I think I've been 20. For me, I personally feel 20 since since I was like 16 years old. I don't know, I feel like I grew up too fast and I don't like it. Um, another thing, yeah, so I celebrated my birthday yesterday and yeah, just uh, some stuff that's happened. Well, lately, so I can explain to you guys, I had I had my cousin's birthday, my twin cousins, and it's a, I'll play the clip right now. It's a little funny thing. Uh, one of the twins, the older twins, I don't know if anyone else does something called, well, in our little Spanish heritage, we call it morida. And like, you know, put your eat a corner or like a piece of the cake. And yeah, I can't, they tried doing it to me, but they didn't really get me. But on their birthday, the older twin, uh, well, he doesn't want me to put it. I'll just play you the tape. I can't even explain it. Uh, what else? And I don't like cats, but I was too tired to deal with this. So yeah, you guys are going to see what's been happening right now. Mordida, mordida, go guys! Come on, Emma. Hold on, Emma. Hold on, Emma. Hey, hold on, Emma. Emma, 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 yeah so there's that and what else what else oh and i got this necklace i'm not really a big fan of jewelry but when it comes to ne necklaces for my family or friends i'll wear it uh i don't like to be flashy like everyone else usually i'm always wearing flannel i'm always wearing flannel or you know an undershirt i'm not really a, too big of a fan of uh you know materialistic stuff i mean it's tommy he'll figure yeah but it i don't know if it feels comfortable i like it uh yeah so i got this necklace from my grandma um it's kind of like a guardian angel necklace but uh to anyone who's real religious or you know anything yes i am a christian but i don't it's like i don't worship angels or anything like that i just wanted to clarify that if anyone thinks anything wrong yeah i try to you know i try to watch what i say try not to expose myself like too much or anything uh just in case if anyone was wondering so i'm not i don't want to be like you know i don't like my generation i don't know why i'm talking about this i don't know i feel like I, you know what yeah i feel like i should talk about this i don't like my generation uh to certain extents i i mean it's like half and half i was raised old-fashioned but i was born in i like to say i was born in the wrong generation uh anyone like from the late 90s because i'm from 90 98 
I'm from, yeah, 1998. I was born there. Uh, yeah, so, you know, like, everyone with the materialistic stuff, um, you know, everyone, like, with the mug shots or not, you know, act, you know how people are. If, if you're from my generation, you understand. Or even if you're not from my generation, you understand. Everyone acting, you know, like, you know, this whole prideful thing, you know, full of lust and everything, like, this whole prideful lust and everything. Um, every man for themselves, everyone's better than each other, etc. You know, you guys get the point. Uh, or you know, like you know the like the huge chains or the gold chains like oh yeah this is five hundred dollars or like how people say that uh, yeah I'm not really a, too big of a fan of that kind of stuff I think the only thing I appreciate about my generation is that some people are getting a lot of people are actually getting it's half and half a lot of people are really more intelligent or uh, you know some people they learn I've noticed some people are really mature and you can like hold down a conversation with them. And some people are just ignorant, but not because they're born ignorant. I mean, a few are, but that's like a medical purpose or whatever. But it's, they just choose to be ignorant. You know, that's what, this is what I mean about pride. Everyone chooses, not everyone, but some people choose to be ignorant. And some people, you know, have that maturity in just certain extents. I was actually talking about this with my friend yesterday. Oh, she's like a sister, actually. Okay, yeah, that's another thing. There you go, now I remember. Uh, yeah, Naeli. There you go. Yeah, uh, yeah. She's one of my best friends. Uh, she's actually call her a twin because we have the same birthday. So every year it's a tradition. I was even telling her this yesterday. Uh, I don't want to stop the tradition like what I have with my best friend. Um, she's like a sister. That's why we say ever since like I think middle school, we've always considered each other twins. And it's funny because I'm actually she claims to be the older one, but then we found out I'm a few hours older. So. That's pretty cool to have like a friend like that that you can call a twin and you know you treat each other like brother and sister and you've like basically grown up with each other so it's pretty cool yeah so I, I'm, I'm actually grateful for that like i mean i still have a real sister or real sisters um i still consider them, like my real sister is just you know to have a friend like that it just makes you grateful i mean i'm so grateful for my family and my other friends i just wanted to clarify that and I don't know, I mean, even though I have been busy, a lot of things have been getting harder. Uh, I don't know why I'm sharing this. I don't know, since I guess I have nothing else to put for the video, I thought I, I, thought I might as well share this. Oh my God, I'm slurring my words too much. I don't, uh, I don't want to feel like a little bit of anxiety. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, it's kind of, it's crazy. I just wanted to say this message to anyone who's you know, in depression or anything like that. I don't know if it comes on, but uh, I actually used to be very, very depressed. And I'm not trying to say like details or the whole story or anything, but I was just realizing this yesterday. All I'm gonna say is, I'm not gonna get into a story or anything or details. All I'm gonna say is that I kind of cried yesterday uh, on my birthday, because all I'm gonna say is I didn't expect to make it to 20 years old at all at all. So that's all I'm gonna say. So. If anything, if you're like around my generation or young, you guys know how it feels. You can act as hard as you want, or you can even be an older person, older than me. You can have more wisdom, I don't care, whatever. But not one person can say that they've never been through anything that has gotten them like with nothing but sorrow and depression. And you know, we're the point where they didn't, uh, where they couldn't handle it. So all I'm gonna say is I cried, and I'm not saying to go and follow a religion I don't have a religion I personally I have a relationship with you know God that I serve uh, but I'm not saying to I'm not forcing anything on you guys I'm just saying from my perspective uh, but yeah so I didn't expect to really live up to 20 years old that's all I'm gonna say I'm not gonna get too emotional because I'm just being you know happy right now I thought I might as well just tell some people that are kind of lost or anything but yeah just know there's still people out there that are that are still you know decent or good I don't want to say decent because I don't want to say how the world is messed up but there are still good people out there that you know help you and help you cross like these these walls in your life um, what else what else yeah so yesterday after crying then but I wasn't crying of sadness I just wanted to say I was I was crying because I was happy because yeah nobody knows this uh, I think 
maybe one or two people know this but yeah that's all i wanted to say right now i think that's it so until the next video uh until maybe if we don't get the spicy noodle the spicy noodle challenge in time uh we might do a workout video or i might do a workout video <clears throat> i think the last time i promised legs i don't know i don't know you guys can comment whatever because honestly i haven't even been working out um i've actually been going not really a strict diet because I, I don't think you guys I don't think you guys would believe me but I haven't done abs or I once in a while <clears throat> maybe like in a few months but uh, it's just been like not even heavy weightlifting I mean I haven't even really done calisthenics as much but I feel like I have more strength and then uh, yes yeah, again I'm not trying to force anything of a religion or anything on but I've been trying to go based on like a Bible diet like based on scriptures and it, it's just me so you guys can you know you guys have your own your own choice your own will whatever you guys want uh but i don't know i feel good so i mean if you guys want information for working out or anything like that or maybe either working out or the next one which i'm working on a conspiracy one but again i'm not again i'm not gonna force uh any type of religion or like i'll serve this god or whatever because i don't know how you guys you know deal with that stuff but i'm basing it based on uh based off the proof that I have for myself because I mean it's like different sources from all over the world or different sources that aren't even supposed to connect with each other and this conspiracy actually turns into the truth so which is pretty crazy and it's crazy it's going on with the politics today and based on stuff from the Bible which is weird because some people say the Bible is just like a fantasy book or a fairy tale but it, it's kind of crazy how a fairy tale has like a storyline behind you know the political powers or like the government today and some conspiracies and like stuff that shouldn't even be connected to someone who's not really someone who's not really educated and i don't know for some reason for some reason it just connects so that's what's crazy about it i mean if you guys don't believe me i could probably do that the next video uh either that but the one I want to focus on is the spicy noodle challenge. Get it out of the way, and maybe the workout video for the legs. I'll try to get one of them out of the way first. So we'll see. So I think that's it for today. I just wanted to uh, catch up on these videos because I know I've been busy. And again, I do apologize. And that's it. So yeah. So with that, um, yeah, I have nothing else to say. All right. So bye. For my, thank you uh, for my fans or anyone who's. I don't want to say fans, I'm not even famous. Uh, but thank you for all my supporters, anyone who subscribed, anyone who's liked this video, or anyone who shared it. And that's all I wanted to say. I'm really grateful for you guys. My friends, family, I don't even care. I mean, people that don't even know me, I really do appreciate you guys watching these videos. So that's it, and thank you. Have a good day, guys.